All right, it's that time of the morning again. Our daily chat with WKM radio host Joe Rose. Now here's Bianca and Joe. Good morning, guys. Hey, good morning, Joe. Hey, Dolphins linebacker Lawrence Timmons <laughs> returns to practice today, which obviously I'm assuming he's going to be ready to play on Sunday. But, you know, I'm more interested in the juicy details. Can you just, I know you have some answers here about why he was missing, <laughs> about what he was doing with the other players in the team. So just talk about that real fast, because I feel like no one ever acknowledged this. <laughs> um, it's great to be back. I'm glad to be back with my team. I know I can help them. Uh, I made some mistakes. I want to apologize to CBS TV morning show. I want to apologize <laughs> to our fan base. We're ready to move on at this time. I want to be a great football player like I've been the last decade with the Steelers. I want to do that for Dolphin fans and my friends at CBS morning show. <laughs> oh, great answer there, Joe. That's all you got I don't me? know. I, 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 I know you guys all think you're like my family now. My brother-in-law is calling me like, all right. Come on, I brought a beer over. Come on, bro. What happened to that dude? What, 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 was it a lady? What, what happened? Was it mama drama, baby mama drama? What was it, man? I go, oh, I don't know all that stuff, man. You do know. Uh, and if I, think I did, you know I couldn't something. say it. No. Oh, all right, Joe. Well, I don't know anything. I'm just glad to be here in the morning and be able to talk to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, if that's all we're going to get from you, we'll just go in the positives. He's ready to play. I'm sure he's going to be making an impact on Sunday. We need... And we need him. We need him back in the lineup. He's going to make us better. And now we got to get our offense going and hopefully play better against the Saints and can't look anything like that Jets game. Yeah. Agreed. Well, moving on to something else, too. Are you surprised by Louisville kind of cutting out head coach Rick Pitino? And this guy's a legend in uh, college basketball. But what do you think his legacy is going to be after this? He's a legendary cheater is what he is. He's been a head coach. He acts like he never has any idea what's going on in the family. That finally caught up to him, whether it's strippers, whether it's hookers, and now whether it's players getting paid lots of money by uh, a company that represents him and pays him millions of dollars by the name of Adidas. Yeah, the guy finally got caught. He's gone. Everything he's done as a really good basketball coach is out the window because of cheating and breaking NCAA rules. I have no respect for this guy. I think he's dirty. I think he's old school. Do whatever it takes to get players in here. Once they're in, he can coach them up. But I think, I think he's got a lot of dirty little secrets when it comes to coaching and around his program. That's my personal feeling on it. Joe, you have to agree with me about 90% of the NCAA coaches have a lot of dirty little secrets, and we're going to leave it at that so we can't hammer one person. But Oh, no, I, I totally agree, but I, I, think he's, I think he's president of the club. <laughs> I think he's right there at the top of it. I do, I think. But, but I agree with you. It's big business. I think a lot of it's dirty. I think that whole AAU basketball system's dirty with all those shoe companies. I think there's money flying everywhere. I think everybody. And money, isn't it funny how money screws everybody up? <laughs> Look what money does to everybody. I hope you don't change getting those big checks at CBS TV in the morning. Oh, nothing's going to change except for me buying a yacht, Joe. But we're out of time, and we will talk to you Monday. I know you're going to <laughs> London. Have fun. Have fun with the team. Enjoy your trip. I am. There. I'm going to London. Fish and chips. I'm going to drink a lot of beer and fish and chips. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy, Joe. I hope he doesn't order a Corona Light in London. No, please, no. Because I don't think they, they think that that's real beer over there.